Hi guys. So today I have high ambitions to do a lot of projects. I would like to tackle them all down, but I'm not sure. So some of the things that I'm planning on do today uh, is planting crepe myrtle trees. They're very small. They're five gallon um, tubs, but they're supposed to grow pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm inspired to plant them up. I'll show you where they go. Uh, then I'm also planning on planting uh, three of the other California native uh, plants on my slope again. Really ambitious to plant my daffodil uh, bulbs and some of the tulip bulbs maybe, <laughs> if I have a chance. I'm still trying to think how I'm going to make it all today, but we'll see. I hope that these videos guys re inspire you a little bit. I watch gardening videos almost every day and I get so excited to <clears throat> just get out and do something. Like even just to look. <laughs> Okay, just to come out and like contemplate. Hmm, I wonder if this will go here better and then look at pictures and like bring them up and, and measuring everything out and seeing what will good, look good together and stuff like that. So a lot of it is planning. So here's my before shot guys. And my plan here is to plant, to dig these out and to plant here two tall skinny crepe myrtles. I've chosen uh, dynamite crepe myrtles. So it goes like this. They're very skinny and very tall. Usually they grow long. Um, and I want some height right here. I feel like, no matter what I plan here, it's going to be small and shrubby, but I don't have anything in the back, which is, I wanted to plant more oleander, but they're super poisonous and I kind of don't want to plant more than three of them in my yard. Um, they do look beautiful though, and it's an evergreen anchor shrub that I have, and I have three of them. There's one behind the, the tree. They grow, should grow fast, but they've been really slow. This is like two and a half years of growth and I've planted them pretty much this size. So they're gonna become big circle like this, like 10 by 10. Um, they become quite bushy and fluffy, big shrubs like that. Okay, so I'm giving it space to grow into itself. But here I still feel like I need some kind of interest with the beautiful trunks and of uh, crepe myrtle trees. They do have beautiful trunks that you can kind of light up from underneath. And I've picked dynamite, so it's a kind of a cherry red color, like my roses here. These are rock roses, so they're like super dry tolerant, super heat and drought tolerant. And I feel like they're kind of, kind of bring up some of the redness up here since I have all of the purples <laughs> and whites kind of in this area. This is going to be kind of a red hill look. I know they might get in the way for the trees at some point, but I'm really kind of not too worried about it because again, crepe myrtles kind of, they're fine. They'll just straighten out and get more, more skinny kind of that way, which is perfect to cover those neighbors windows because they keep cutting those bushes straight up here <laughs> they would not let them grow i'm like why you can see our windows oh well anyway that is what it is not up to me letting go of control <sighs> do something about that wall right there, that little rock solid area. <laughs> you see right there? Oh goodness. One eternity later. I had to dig wide more, basically just try to abandon this little area, make more of the opening right here. And then there's the huge rock right there. I've been trying to chop it with my shovel, so let's continue doing that. Can you see me? I'm sweating. I'm sweating! <laughs> Okay, 
so here's our crepe myrtle, nicely planted. Looks quite nice, actually, I like it. I've planted one, guys. Second one will have to wait because I am wiped out from that one, from that one tree planting. It's enough of heavy duty planting for me today. So I'll just do some small projects around here, uh, plant some bulbs, like I said, and I'll try planting that slope in a little bit <laughs> once I relax. Okay, you guys, so today I accomplished two out of the three things, well, one and a half <laughs> things. So I, I was able to plant my crib myrtle in the back and I was able to plant all of my bulbs. I had a total of about 40 more bulbs to plant today, so I planted them all. I had daffodils, hyacinths, and different types of uh, tulips. So it was like 40 plus actually of the tulips and all of those. So I planted them all around the bulbs. It looks like I did no work, but I have done <laughs> some of the job. We're just not going to see it until springtime. So I'm very excited to get all the tulips. I did not refrigerate them. I know you're supposed to uh, have a cool period for um, your tulips. I'm trying to plant them without that. I do not have an extra refrigerator. At this time of my life, I feel like I don't want to buy another refrigerator just for my plants. Uh, so I'm just gonna wing it. I planted them anyway. The sunset is very beautiful. It's the end of the day almost. <laughs> I've been here for like almost three hours now. Hello guys. Okay, so, so this is the next day and Daryl is going to be helping me today to plant our second crepe myrtle tree. We're gonna put it right there. Right where that little yellow bush is. We're gonna dig it out and put this guy in. So these are uh, dynamite uh, kind. So it's a bright red colors, as I said, and this is a multi-trunk. I've seen them around and multi-trunks always very uh, skinny and long, which is, like I said, I need in this specific area. I think it will be perfect. As this tree grows wider and bigger, it shouldn't really be in its way at all. And then we'll decide what we're doing with this tree and we potentially plant another tree. So all that in the future. But for now, this one's coming along there. Let's go digging. <laughs> So now I'm going to plant uh, these California native uh, Cionothus. <laughs> Uh, and this is a Diamond Heights variety. It's basically wild lilac. And this is a trailing one. It stays one foot up to one foot tall. So it's pretty, pretty low and four to five feet wide. I picked this one. They had also like Yankee Point and Caramel Creeper. And there's a all wild lilacs uh, native to Cali, uh, California. And I've been eyeing them for the longest time. <laughs> But I stepped on this one because it has just so much interest. It's an evergreen green um, shrub and it has these beautiful pale blue flowers that come out kind of sticking out like this. They look like uh, like lilac uh, flowers but they're so tiny like much smaller and they smell heavenly. I've, I've seen them around here but most of the time I see the green variety of, the, of this wild lilac but I wanted this one for again for the beautiful foliage. So I got three of them and I'm going to position them on the hill. Oh, wish me luck. <laughs> uh, Bees Bliss is doing fine. Um, I know many of you probably think why don't I just you know get rid of all the weeds. If it was that easy I would. So these weeds spread like fire and they just so not beautiful. I would like something planted with intention. Uh, to create more symmetry and more organized landscape and um, my plan is to plant one in the middle right here and then two on the sides kind of like somewhere right here i'm supposed my hopes is that these 
California natives will just suffocate once they uh, become very trailing. They'll just suffocate all of these weeds and just kind of kick them out. So that's my hope for this hill. <laughs> Okay, so I have been deciding whether or not I should also plant my arborum on this hill. I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because it's one of those plants that once it touches the ground, it spreads there, it roots there. And that's exactly what I have the problem with right now with this periwinkle thing. I don't know what the name is, forgot. But it's called periwinkle something vine and it's just a disaster because it's spread all over our yard and would not stop and you have to dig out the root in order for you to actually um, get rid of it that's what you saw actually me do with a little bunch right there is you have to dig out the whole root in order for you to get rid of it and when it's on the whole hill there's no way to do that so i'm a little bit nervous of this one but i did get this 18 pack to actually plant it and i got it in the beginning of summer Okay, I am wiped out. I have planted so many cool little things on this hill. I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous about that Maya poem. I'll have to read a little bit more about it, how to control it and what to expect from it. If I feel uncomfortable, I might just pluck a few out. Last thing I wanted to show you are my mandarins. These are uh, wabi. Basically, it's the kind that are super soft that the skin kind of falls off of them. This is my dwarf tree and it's about four year old. We planted it. It was like to hear about that maybe. It is a dwarf so it's not going to grow bigger than like five feet. It's really tiny. Uh, but the first year we had like two mandarins then last year we had like three or four mandarins and this year we just have it just covered and i'm so excited to have some juicy mandarins in about like a week i say comparing to my hand for example these are big mandarins okay forever dirt under nails <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna go start decorating for christmas and i hope you have a good day thanks for watching <laughs>